Right, hi everyone, it's raining outside and I've just come to the shed to, to pick something up for another um, sort of audio or video and I've just come across a mouse nest inside the storage shed of all things which is ram packed with everything a mouse would love. Look at this, this is cardboard, there's tents inside here and it's already chewed through my Gore-Tex bivvy bag. Um, there's a spare chair for my for a seat inside here. I mean, let's look, look, look down here. There it is, right at the back. Yeah, you can see it just just there. So I now need to, as it's raining, I need to try and clear this shelf unit out, try and clear some of these boxes out, flat packing them down, and to see how much damage this little stupid little thing has is, is, um, caused me inside here. So far, I've already clocked up a couple hundred pounds worth of damage in the way of um, Gore-Tex material and sort of um, surplus kit. Um, which is laying around. Um, so I've got a mouse trap set. I'm going to set a few more inside here. The old good old faithful peanut butter is come out today because, as I've seen, quite a few people always talk about mice love the old peanut butter. At the moment, I can't see too much sign of any poo or smell any the way. So I'm hoping it's just one, maybe two which are in here and I can nip this in the butt straight away but being raining outside it's actually a bit awkward to sort the shed out I don't want to take all the stuff in the house just in case there's some sort of mouse stuff inside it so I really need to open it up inside the shed just to double check to make sure it is fully safe if it is then I'll put the tents and that sort of stuff into the storage in the house but hey here we go what can we say I'll, I'll keep you updated I've got two of the, sh the shelf for taking that out and luckily for me it looks it's more like it's just plastic packaging bubble wrap and that sort of stuff I'm digging it out I'm sort of looking around um, you can see the food the guinea pig food which obviously they've brought in here to store so I'm coming around they can see they're coming in the back there so I'm gonna get this corner we dig this corner out clean it out and then we'll get back in here and I'm really really have a good forage around and see what we can get. Okay, so that's that corner cleaned up. That's all inside here. Uh, I think I've got most of it down there. I just need to get a few little bits underneath there. Uh, but now I've got this bit. This is where some climbing helmets and that were. So you can see there's um mouse droppings there. There's a bit more stuff. They're dug in. They're broken from the bottom under the shed. Tunnels themselves up into this corner. You can see they've eaten it's all rotted away all sort of underneath here so I'm thinking it might be under here as well so I'll have to set a trap around about here I reckon that might that looks like they've been here for some time but I just haven't realized the only food that been in this shed has ever been some guinea pig food so it must have been taken out for a long long time but luckily but luckily all they've eaten is just the guinea pig food and destroyed those two little bits of cloth. The rest of it just seems to be superficial damage to the shed, which is you can see the state of it anyway. It was rotten when I when I moved in. I, I didn't think it's going to last this long, but um, hence why I don't put anything really valuable. I just put bushcrafty sort of stuff, which could be outdoors. But obviously, I need to change that around now, don't I? So let's get this sorted, and hopefully, a few more traps later, we should have a we should have a success. Okay, so that's the nest now completely taken out. Um, I'm now, because we've got reptiles in the house as well, we've got some nice disinfectant spray, which all I'm going to do, I'm going to spray around the top just to stop maybe the fungus from growing a bit further. And also we're going to go all the way around the bottom, around the edge of the thing, just to kill any of the bacteria in which the, the, um, the feces and urine can cause with the, with the mice inside of the shed. And hopefully, touch wood, there's no more problems because... The climbing equipment inside the box there doesn't seem to be um, affected. I'm going to take it out oh, when I do go and, when I do go and start climbing again. I'll take it out and have a look through it, um, just to make sure there's no problems. If not, I'll just if there is any sign of possible sort of damage, it will just be taken down straight away. So let's just give this a bit of a clean, uh, and then we'll hopefully disinfect that, and then we'll do the bottom as well. And that hopefully, guys should fix my mouse problem okay so i've put it all back together again we've got the shelves back in 
sorted the car all out, cleaned it all around, put the things on the bottom which aren't eatable anymore. Plastic box was doubled up. Um, it's been nearly a couple of hours, it's been nearly like four hours since I did this, so we're going to have a quick look to see if the, if the trap has been successful, if it's come back at all. So it's just back here. Uh, no, you can see the trap is still sitting in there, it hasn't been sprung yet, but that is exactly on top of where the um, actual nest was. So we'll leave that again, we'll lock it back up, and then hopefully... And then hopefully, in about one or two days' time, we should be able to catch that little blugger and get my life back again. But hey, everything's groovy, isn't it? Yeah. Just remember, it's better to be one with the wilderness than to fight and struggle. In the next video, all randomness. See you then. Bye for now.